Welcome back to Palangi 21. Today I will show you a South Korean drama film from 2006 titled No Regret. Soo Min is an orphan who has just turned 18, and is required to leave the orphanage. Unable to pay for university, he goes to Seoul, where he does various jobs to pay for computer classes. He works in a factory, and has a side job of driving drunks home from bars. Soo Min lives in a small apartment with his friend Jay Chul who is from the same orphanage. One night, he gets a job to drop off a drunk Jamin. Since the first time they meet, Jamin is immediately attracted to Soo Min. When Jamin invites Soo Min for a drink at his place, Soo Min refuses, because he doesn't want to be involved in a love affair with his client. One day, Soo Min is fired from his factory job. As he is about to leave the factory, he meets Jamin again. It turns out that Jamin is the CEO's son. With the help of Jamin, Soo Min doesn't get fired, as they fire someone else. Hearing that, Soo Min is annoyed. He doesn't want to be pitied by others. He then goes to Jamin's office and quits his job. After that, Soo Min looks for another job. One of his friends Han Sun, finds Soo Min a job at a karaoke place. Han Sun and Soo Min don't know that the place is actually a host bar for gay men. The owner says that the place makes a lot of money, as long as Soo Min doesn't care about his pride. But Soo Min refuses the job. He decides to work washing dishes at a restaurant with Han Sun. But not long after, Soo Min quits his job, because he's underpaid and the restaurant manager is always scolding him. Finally Soo Min decides to take a job at the host bar. At first the owner is reluctant to accept him, because he knew from experience, that a gay host would often be romantically involved with one of their clients. Soo Min begs to work there, and doesn't tell Han Sun about the job. One night, Soo Min and another host named Young Tae talk about their lives. Young Tae tells him that he works there to take advantage of gay men, and he makes money for his girlfriend. He then asks why Soo Min works as a host. Soo Min replies that he did it for the money. After that, Soo Min's life is starting to go well. He earns money to rent an apartment, and buy himself nice clothes. He serves every client, and refuses to have a love affair with his clients. But one day, Han Sun finds out that Soo Min works at the host bar. He scolds Soo Min, but Soo Min says that he needs the money so he can go to college. Soo Min apologizes to him, but he will be working there for the time being. One day, Soo Min is reunited by Jamin at the host bar. Jamin is a former driving client, who has fallen in love with Soo Min. Soo Min gets annoyed seeing Jamin, but he can't refuse him, and is forced to accept him as a client. They go to Jamin's place to make love. After that, Soo Min threatens Jamin that he will kill him if he hires him again. Meanwhile, Jamin himself is a closeted gay man. In fact, he is already engaged to a woman, and plans to marry her at the insistence of his parents. But Jamin doesn't agree with the wedding. One day, while going to work, Su Min meets a young man named Karam who wants to work as a host. Karam comes to Seoul with nothing. He is also an orphan just like Su Min. Su Min then lends him his suit, and takes him inside to introduce him to his boss, and gets him a job. Later on, Su Min invites him to stay with him for a while. When Karam asks why Su Min helps him, he replies that he reminds him of his old self. One day, Jay Chul is hospitalized due to an accident at the factory and Soo Min comes to see him. Jay Chul is surprised by Soo Min because he hasn't contacted him in a long time. He tells him that Jamin is always looking for him. Jamin, who has been rejected by Soo Min, tries to forget Soo Min by having fun with another man. But then he changes his mind, because he still can't forget Soo Min. Later on, Soo Min meets his friend Young Tae. Young Tae has been cheated by his girlfriend who has taken all his money away. He drinks until he's drunk, and demands money from Soo Min because he's in debt. When Soo Min works for one of his clients, Jamin comes there and feels jealous to see them. Jamin invites Soo Min out to talk, but Soo Min who sees him again, tries to punch him. Jamin tells him to see him as a man rather than a client. They agree to walk together. Soo Min asks Jamin why he keeps chasing him. Jamin confesses that he loves him from the first time they met. He asks why Soo Min always refuses him. Su Min says that they are born in different social lives, because Jamin is rich and well-educated. Jamin then holds his hand and says he's in love with him, but he doesn't understand why. 
Su Min gives him a farewell kiss, saying that Jaemin is rich and can be with anyone, while he has to work so he can go to college. He then tells Jaemin not to see him again. One day, Karim tells Su Min that he might fall in love with a client. Su Min says that he must focus on work, without getting carried away with that client. Karim asks about Jaemin, because at the host bar, there have been many rumors about their relationship. Su Min denies that he has a love affair with Jaemin. One day, Su Min is reprimanded by his boss. He says that Jaemin always comes there and looks for him. His boss lied to Jaemin, saying that Su Min had left Seoul, and Jaemin left his business card. He then gives him Jaemin's business card, and telling Su Min not to have a love affair with Jaemin. Meanwhile, Jaemin spends time with his fiancée, but he is not happy with her. Jaemin is still not giving up on Su Min. He hires Su Min and tells him to come to his hotel. Once again, Jaemin admits that he loves him, but Su Min tells him to give up on him. Then an angry Jaemin goes to the host bar where Su Min works, and makes a mess there. Su Min's boss is furious, and orders his workers to kick out and beat Jaemin. When Su Min arrives, he immediately takes Jaemin to his place. He finally gives up on his feelings, because he actually falls in love with him. That night they make love. From then on, they start dating, and they are both very happy. Su Min quits his job to be with Jaemin. One day, Jaemin's mother comes to their place. Jaemin tells Su Min to wait outside. After that, Su Min asks about what happened. Jaemin tells him that his mother had found out that he was gay. He says that if he was an orphan then maybe his life would be easier, but then says that he's happy to be with Su Min, and kisses him. The next day, Karim calls Su Min and tells him that he took a few days off to go on vacation. He wants to take Su Min with him, but he knows that Su Min is with Jaemin. He says that he's jealous of his relationship with Jaemin. He tells him that the client he once loved had lied to him, and only lived in a small apartment. Meanwhile, Jaemin's mother forces Jaemin to marry his fiancée. She doesn't care if Jaemin is gay, but he still has to marry a woman to protect his family's honor. Jaemin feels angry but he can't go against his parents' wish. Later on, Jaemin tells Su Min the truth. Su Min feels disappointed, and asks about the continuation of their relationship. But Jaemin doesn't answer and leaves. The next day, Su Min comes to Jaemin's office. He calls Jaemin to come downstairs and meet him. But Jaemin doesn't want to see him. One day, Karim dies after having a car accident. Su Min and Yung Tae come to his funeral. On their way home, Su Min says that he wants to get back to working at the host bar. Young Tae asks the reason. Su Min tells him everything about what happened with Jaemin. Young Tae is furious with Jaemin, because Jaemin is like a client who toys with hosts, comes to them when they need to, and dumps them when they're satisfied. He then tells Su Min that if Su Min wants revenge, he can help him. But Su Min doesn't want revenge on Jaemin because he still loves him. The next day, Su Min goes to Jaemin's office to see him because Su Min still hasn't given up on their relationship. He meets Jaemin and his fiance, and tries to call him repeatedly, but Jaemin ignores him. While in the elevator, Jaemin suddenly changes his mind. He confesses to his fiance that the man they met was the man he loved. His fiance is disappointed, and slaps him in the face. Jaemin then runs to catch up with Su Min, but he can't find him. Su Min who feels sad and disappointed, decides to take revenge on Jaemin. As Jaemin heads to the parking lot, he is kidnapped by Su Min and Young Tae. They take Jaemin to the middle of the woods, where they have dug a hole for him. Young Tae buries the tied up Jaemin, while Su Min just stares at him. But then, Su Min changes his mind and tries to stop Young Tae. Su Min tells him to leave with the money he got. But Young Tae, who is feeling frustrated, after being cheated by his girlfriend and in debt from a loan shark, hits Su Min with a shovel and leaves the two of them there. After a while, Jaemin manages to free himself from being tied up. He then takes Su Min into the car. He drives the car back to the city. Just then, Su Min wakes up, and feels sorry about what happened. He says that he's happy to see Jaemin. Jaemin looks at Su Min and smiles at him. He doesn't pay attention to the road, so their car crashes into a tree. As dawn breaks, the two of them start to regain consciousness. At the same time, the police come there. Su Min and Jaemin don't pay attention to the police. They look at each other with a smile on their face, and they make up. This is a very touching romantic drama film. 
Su Min is an 18-year-old orphan who comes to the city of Seoul, looking for a job so he can go to college. He does various jobs, one of which is driving drunk people home. There he meets the tortured Jamin, a wealthy closeted gay man, who will soon marry a woman at the insistence of his parents. The relationship between the two experienced many obstacles, from the negative stigma of society and the different social life between them. They must find a way to achieve their happiness. With a low budget, the script of this film is very impressive, and well developed. The two main characters are amazing, and able to put on an extraordinary emotional show. Their chemistry was honest and real. The director was also successful in directing and providing very beautiful details. This is one of the best gay films from South Korea that you should watch. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notification.